Hi there friends, welcome to Craft with Kathy. Tonight's project is going to be using the Faith Transfer. This transfer has two different images, one I did a few days ago, and tonight's um, project is going to be using the transfer that says, Trust in the Lord. If you would be so kind as to let me know where you're viewing from, I'm in the suburbs west of Chicago, where it was up to 90 again today, which has just been kind of craziness. I don't think we had much of a spring at all. Um, I, Before I started, I actually waxed this board with our surface wax, just rubbed it in and rubbed it off because I am going to be um, chalking on wood and I like to make sure that I always wax my wood before I chalk on it partly to protect my transfer um, and the second reason just to if I make a mistake make it easier to fix and hopefully be able to wipe it off and correct it sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't somewhat dependent upon the pigmentation of the chalk paste so I'm going to take this transfer off of its backer our transfers are made out of vinyl, which is the teal, and silk screen that you can actually see through. And I'm going to deliberately apply some lint to it so that it does not stick as snugly as it would otherwise. And I'm on the wrong side of the fuzzing cloth. I'm on the microfiber side. You always want to fuzz on the terry cloth side. So let me switch it over. I knew as soon as I went to pull it up, it wasn't sticking as much. Okay, it's more normal. And I want to deliberately apply a little bit of fuzz so that my transfer doesn't stick quite as snugly to the surface as it would if, if I hadn't fuzzed it. Especially since it's brand new, I want to diminish that adhesive a little bit. Our transfers are made out of vinyl and silk screen with an adhesive back. They are reusable 8 to 12 times or more as long as they're cured for properly. And cure is real easy. It's just basically making sure you remove the chalk paste from the silk screen. So I'm going to apply this transfer to the surface. Oops, I'm pulling it off my buzzing towel here. And just lay this down in here. A little high up, I couldn't tell. Bring that down a little bit. Okay, I think that's fine. I see a little piece of fuzz here that I, it's a nice silk screen. Let me get that. Out of the way. Looks like I picked up a fiber from a ribbon on my fuzzing cloth. Okay. So I want to make sure this is down nice and smoothly. No ear bubbles under my lettering. You can see one right there under the R. Get that smooth down. Because when I apply the paste, it's going to be squeezed through the silk screen onto the surface below giving us a nice, crisp, beautiful image. Okay, and I'm going to use um, the Harvest Shimmer for the wording, and then I'm going to use my Mauvilus, my favorite color for the petals of the flower, and then Olive Shimmer for the leaves for the foliage. I have not stirred up, oh, this is brand new, my Mauvilus, it looks like it's in really great shape. You want your chalk paste to always be the consistency of yogurt or sour cream. This is our new configuration of our paste, very whippy. Feel free to comment as we go along. If you have any questions, just drop them in the comment box. And I will answer them as I see them. If I don't see them, I will answer them later. You never know. Sometimes Facebook's been a little finicky about displaying comments. 
and sometimes I don't see them until I'm done. Okay, these all look good. So let me get the covers out of the way and let's get started. I'm going to do the Shimmer Harvest, the words in the Shimmer Harvest. I'm going to apply this to my transfer and then use my squeegee to pull the paste over the transfer and through the silk screen. A little bit of paste goes a long way. I'm going to make sure all my letters are fully covered. And then I want to go back, remove any excess paste. Having a problem right there with the D. I wonder if there's an air bubble there. It doesn't seem like it's going through properly. Let's try that again. Oops. Didn't lift it up high enough. Okay. So I've gone over all the silk screen, removing any excess, removing any lines. Then I'm going to add this back into the jar. No sense wasting it. And as I have the fan blowing a little bit, I'm going to lift this up and take a look at it, but also let it dry so that my paste doesn't get stuck in my silk screen. Oh, that looks nice. Okay, what beautiful definition, right? So I'm going to just lay it back down over the surface. I'm just not pressing it down this way. The paste won't dry in the silk screen and I'm going to do the petals of my flower next I might need a smaller squeegee to get into tiny areas okay I'm going to make sure I don't go off of the transfer onto the surface. And I'm going to be careful not to get my leaves, or try to be careful not to hit my leaves with any of the marvelous paste. Hence the reason for this little squeegee. It's just a squeegee that I actually cut apart. petals right over the leaves so that's a little challenging there. There we go. I think that's fine. Just want to get that line. There we go. So I'm pulling the excess paste back in a little bit. I think this is still flower right here. There we go. And then I could remove the excess with my larger squeegee. Just pull it towards me and remove any lines. And add that back into the jar. Now I'm going to turn this around so that I've got better access to my foliage here. And I might need to borrow that small squeegee. Clean the paste off of that. Are you part of my private group on Facebook? If not, you're missing out on a lot of fun. In my group, I offer box bundle kits, so you have a DIY kit, easy and complete to do on your own, additional tutorials, specials, and lots more, sometimes even games with prizes. So if you want to get in on the fun, comment VIP below and I will send you the link 
to my private group on Facebook. It's called Chalk with Kathy. It's open to everyone other than um, Chalk Couture designers. Come on over, join the group, and let's have some fun together. While wow, this project is really coming together quickly, isn't it? All I have to do is finish the foliage and we're basically done. How's that? I love the shimmer paste. They give just a little bit of sparkle, not quite like glitter, glitter, but just a little shimmer in the light, which makes them extra special. Wow, such an easy and quick way to add some faith-based decor to your home environment. I'm going to use a small squeegee to get into the little nooks and crevices here. I feel like I'm talking about um, English muffins, <laughs> right? The nooks and crannies. Just continuing very carefully to spread the chalk paste, the olive shimmer paste, over the remaining parts of the foliage on the transfer. It's a little bit close to the blooms of the flower, but definitely doable, obviously, right? Just about finished with this easy project. If you can butter toast, you can chalk. Seriously. Any questions, just drop them in the comments below. I'd be happy to answer them or send you additional information, whatever you might need. I do have some info in the description associated with this video. Check it out. Say hello, let me know if you're watching live or if you're watching on the replay. It's kind of nice to know. Okay, I'm not going to get that line that's right up against the moth. Let me take a look and see what it looks like. Oh, yeah. I think it's beautiful. If you've ever wondered what it's like to be a chalk couture designer, comment team below and I will send you a link to a video that talks all about the perks, the benefits, and requirements. I'd love to see you join my team. I was hesitating a little bit on the colors and actually thinking of using a different technique, but I think this is um, pretty impressive just the way it is. What do you think? How do you like that? 15 minutes and our sign is done. If you could butter toast, you can chalk. Did I just repeat myself? I'm sorry, but it's that easy. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great weekend. See you soon.